So how to add in the menu here, a category in Wix Website Builder. So I want to add here, let's say this category in the menu here on Wix Website. So I'm going to copy this uh, link. And by the way, to copy the, this uh, link, uh, what you have to do here is to publish. And when we publish, we can see here the link and just click on visit website. It's very simple. And then what you're going to have to do here is to go to pages. And then here we have, it's very cool that we can now click on add menu link. We can paste the link we just copied. So we copied the link for the category. So we copy, uh, copy the link for that category. And then we're going to paste this link here. And now I'm going to select here. How does it open to current window and done? Okay. And now this is called new window. And now if we click on new link here, let's actually test this. It's going to be very cool. And now we can click on new link here. Sorry, actually, we have to, we're going to have to go here to publish and view site not preview. So here, if it doesn't show the new link, it just make sure it just takes some time to reload and then new link. I'm going to click on this and this will direct us to this category. And that's actually one way. There's actually another way as well to create this. If you only, if you want to have multiple blocks, uh, multiple um, pages, you know, not multiple blocks, multiple categories, let's say. So what you can do here is is to create, I'm going to go to pages here. Let me delete this one. You can also hide this from menu. And I'm going to go to add menu. I'm going to select here new page. Now we can select here blank page. Pretty cool. Now we can name this if you want. We can name this cars and I'll click on done. And then here we are on in cars here. And then here we can add, let's say a section if we want. And we can look through this. Let's say we'll grab this one. Subscribe for more if you're going to find this helpful. And then here I can go to add element. Then here we have blocks. I'm going to grab this one. Or you can also just uh, click and drag. And then here we have this blocks here. We can click on manage blocks. And from here, we can manage blocks. We can also, let's say, click on this block, edit, and make sure you have the right tag for the right page. And you can change the tags, of course. And now here, if you don't like this one, you can also stretch this one if you want. But if, let's say, if you don't like uh, this one here, you can also see here we have uh, different kinds of uh, posts. So we have uh, this one, sidebar, so um, this one looks good. It's just more simple and uh, you can click on settings here and select maybe only this category. So this is the car reviews and that's going to show up all the car reviews here. You just you can write here the title. This is only car reviews category. Uh, and if you don't like that either, you still have a lot of more category menu here. And uh, you have this one as well. This one is more, it's more, it's much larger as you can see. And uh, if you want, you can go to quick edit here, I believe. And then you go to settings and then here you have post uh, list. So you can change this to which one you want. So you can choose the category. Let's say you choose here car reviews and then filter. You can also filter by tag you can show features post only. And what's cool, you can also display the number. If you want to, if you only want to display two or three, you have that option. Also what shows on your feed. That's also pretty helpful. You can show the date. I would like to see the date here at the reading time. So uh, if people see, okay, it takes takes about two or three minutes to read this. I'll actually read this. It can be very helpful. And also the label, too many as well. I don't think it's helpful. View can help. Likes as well. Layout. Now you can also change the layout from here. This one looks interesting. 
and this one also looks big if you only want if you only want to add like a couple of blocks uh, blocks couple of posts and you can also add a spacing here between pages and you can also put the height adjustment you can add to select to manual and the post uh, height and the margins okay this one looks better in my opinion here post you have the design to change the design and that's pretty much it so now here you can customize this even more you can change the background the color so i can add something a color that is the same with my brand and i can leave now the quick edit zoom back in I can uh, move the text here here we can see we have actually two columns so I can click on manage columns and I can delete this one here and then I can grab this text and move it here so I'll write here car reviews and I'll double click and increase the size now sorry here increase the size like this I'll move the text right over here and this search here and then I'll click and drag from this side so I don't like the colors here there's a lot of things I can change for this blog can quick edit and change this to maybe something like this and also here i can change the pages the menu so i can hide hide some uh, some pages that i know people don't need to click on so here this is something i don't need the and then i can just reorganize this i can check also how it looks on mobile I can uh, click on the blog we just created course see how it looks okay that's not good of course we can fix this okay here the strip we have and here on phone we can uh, click on settings here and change if we want and you can change the layout enable mobile settings and we can change to this one here if you want or this one or this one this also looks nice okay we can also customize this margins we can add some margins and the image ratio of course i like this one so yeah i hope you found this tutorial helpful Thanks for watching and take care.